Right now, you saw the lightning as the powerful energy source. But it is not in the usable form. We are going to propose a way how to harvest it. The lightning energy is the energy in transit, that is dynamic. This is the most crucial and difficult reason why we are still not able to capture and utilize this energy. Somehow if we temporarily slow down the leakage of this energy, we get sufficient time to divert this energy from leakage into the earth and get stored in the storage device. The slowing down mechanism of the leakage and then diverting to the storage before all energy goes to ground are the key features of our system. The capacitor is something that can store electric charge indefinitely until discharged. There is a classic ceramic disk-like capacitor, the handsome polyfilm cap and uh, of course the cylindrical type of power electrolytic capacitors and uh, some of these can be very large. Now let's have a look inside the capacitor. The outside is the plastic coat. Inside it there is a metallic shell and uh, inside the shell there are two rolls. The rolls consist of just two metallic plates separated by a dielectric paper and uh, that's all. For a simple way to demonstrate a capacitor charging, use a good old 9 volt, a 220 microfarad cap, an LED, and a resistor. For this one, I decided not to use a breadboard and just wrap the resistor around the positive longer end of the LED. Then I charge the capacitor by connecting its negative lead to the negative lead of the battery and the positive to the positive. Just now, when we connect the positive and negative leads of the cap and the LED, it lights up and dims as the capacitor equalizes it to charge through. Our plan includes a slight change in the design of the roofs of the tall buildings. We will convert the entire roof of a tower into a capacitor. The changes will be to make the roof neither too flat nor too pointed, but somewhat in between. basic idea behind changing the roof shape is to attract the lightning. We do attract the lightning by a concept called corona discharge. It is the electric breakdown of the charge across pointed conductors, such as on this Eiffel Tower. The sparks thus generated are very well controlled under small scale operations, so we expect to happen at large scale also with some modifications. Second thing is to keep one of the plate of such formed capacitor connected to ground initially. It will generate more potential difference and will work as an aid to attract the lightning. Following will be the principle of our architecture. A single metallic plate is capable to hold charge, but it is never a capacitor. There require at least two such metallic plates with very less spacing and a dielectric between them. In our case, the cement will act as the dielectric. The lower plate will be connected to the ground, as told earlier, thus having zero potential. After the strike on the upper plate, this generates a potential difference between the plates and an electric field gets produced. Before the discharge occurs completely, we need to utilize it. So we are connecting the system by a switching mode which redirects the current to the power unit rather than going to ground. After the field is weak enough to be of any use, the switch again connects to the ground and comes to the initial state and ready to capture another electric bolt shock. The IC we are using for such a quick switching is the same used in computer UPS for switching between power supply and battery backup. work need to be carried upon in this idea why you might face some difficulties in the future but good idea good work it's a good idea but the problem is the country uh, the countries where the lightning doesn't occur daily so uh, it is not feasible for those countries 
and uh, it is favorable for the conservation of energy and uh, whatever physics I have learned it seems to be possible. Well, I just got to know of the idea and uh, I think it's very innovative and it's really good and particularly the concept of Corona Discharge, it's amazing and I think you will be able to, you know, be successful with this and since you say it's possible in the small scale and I really hope and I believe that it will be possible in the large scale and my best wishes with you. Well, I think this is a very innovative idea um, and your concepts and your idea implementation seems to be very inspiring. But what I would suggest to you guys is that you need to authenticate your findings because I'm sure a lot of people would have also, uh, you know, thought about what you guys have thought about the capacitor and about as in grounding and, and as in converting an immediate lightning strike. So what I think you guys should do is uh, verify your findings, see how far feasible your findings are and uh, then go ahead with the project. It's a great idea but I have a doubt in the practical application of this and that is for charging a capacitor we need some time, uh, mainly in seconds, 10 seconds or something like that, minimum. Because the charging of capacitor is exponentially dependent on time. So, how could it be possible to charge a capacitor in so little time? Only this doubt I have in my mind and the rest I think it's okay. Because practical use of it is not in our pocket Naya, it's too costly. It's a fantastic idea and uh, we must try it. In fact, uh, the analogous behavior of UPS is really the nice inspiration for this. Well, uh, you must take into, uh, uh, into account the budget it takes. Well, my regards are with you guys. Thank you, sir.